The look, it was not their favorite and Michelle feels her skin crawling. Michelle, that's the mescaline. That's one of the side effects. I'm sorry that nobody told you but She gets immediately emotional. But make no mistake, Mama Ru is here to milk every single drop, baby. Cry for the camera, honey. Come on, Mama is waiting. So you have cornbread starting to tear up and immediately you have RuPaul. Oh, what are you feeling? What are you feeling? And then she cries for the camera because that's what Mama Ru wants. <laughs> RuPaul says, the number was designed to get to know you, period. Seriously, nothing else. It's like they made a bad cut in the editing room because it sounds like a sentence that is supposed to end with something. Probably the number was designed to get to know you and you didn't manage to do that, you know, but we don't have that. It's just left in there lingering, waiting for a minute. And I'm like, Rupo, you have to tell me, did you get to know her or not? It was impressive, I will give you that, but next level, you know, when they have like this set of fixed expression that they use during the cryptics, that they mean absolutely nothing, but they always use them. And then Mamaro ties it all together, saying that laughter is the answer. Probably while thinking about how much fucking money she made in 2021 while filming 46 seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race. Michelle, can you define what you mean by one note and flat? Moving on to Willow with some more baby talking because of course fuck her agency it's like michelle would get a cerebral stroke if she says something positive about someone who's going to be in the bottom and i don't think we're going to get in any more details than that because it's already time to bring up a conversation about her health issues come on little willow mamaru is thirsty thirsty for tears oh boy oh boy i really miss the judging panel canada's drag race. and i thought you know maybe we would we would get something more after that you know the quality of the outfit, how it fits, and so on. Why would you spend time doing that when you can crack a triple K joke? One judge jokes about being triggered by three boobs, and another one jokes about being triggered about picking cotton. Because, you know, there's always time to talk about slavery while talking about fashion. Next time on RuPaul's Drag Race, best places to go for brunch after taking a trip to the abortion clinic. About the song, they say that they couldn't understand the lyrics. Then Ru says that she speaks black folks, ignoring the fact that we are still on fucking national television and this is the third racial joke in a row. Because you know what? Who needs tastes and timing when you're worth more than Britney Spears?